Alright guys, today at the range we've got a really cool submachine gun for you. That's going to be an MK760, which is a copy of the Smith & Wesson 76, which was a licensed copy of the M45, also known as the Swedish K submachine gun. Those were very popular in Vietnam amongst, I don't know, special operations guys, because when you rose out of the water, it drained out in a fraction of a second. Smith & Wesson finally started copying them when the Swedes decided they didn't like what we were doing in Vietnam. And by extension, we got these. And uh, before today, this was actually an unfired machine gun that we were lent uh, by a friend who we're very, very thankful for. Um, we're gonna get some uh, different opinions today. Patrick and I are both gonna shoot the hell out of it and hopefully have a good time. So with that, uh, I'll turn it over to Patrick. All right guys, so now Alex has turned the MK760 over to me. I'm gonna go through the controls real briefly. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, uh, it's pretty much a piece of fence post with the barrel stuck in the end. and. A bolt but uh, realistically you've got your bolt here so it is an open bolt gun you've got your safety selector right here so you've got safe semi and full I'll be on safe so you see it just slams forward and uh, fires the gun so we'll put it on safe real quick load up a magazine and then uh, I'm going to do something irresponsible and uh, shoot it in semi-auto. Well, it's not truly semi. So we'll put that into full auto and have some fun. Bit of a jam. Well, you know, I am the breaker of all things. There we go. Looks like the last few rounds of the mag didn't want to feed quite right. I'm gonna have to say, I really do like this gun. Um, it's uh, really controllable almost on MP40 level. But uh, I mean, it handles really well and I like it a lot. And the cool thing, it's got a little bit of folding stock here. So if you want to go ahead and shoot like a movie hero, you can. So I mentioned earlier that I have folding stock. It's a little bit uh, nicer than your standard wire stock and it locks in place pretty securely. So here goes nothing. Alright, so I don't know if the sights are off or if I'm just a terrible shot, I'm probably leaning towards the second one. Still, fun gun to shoot. Alright guys, so I'm going to see if the MK760 functions with the stock folded. Um, hopefully it does. A little malfunction. One little hiccup, but this is a brand new gun. First, uh, first time this machine gun's been shot uh, is today, so hopefully uh, we keep breaking it in. It's not accurate. Not even kind of. I'm starting to really like this thing. I don't know why. It's a simple tube gun, but uh, I'm doing pretty well with it. You know, it's accurate for me. I'm ringing the heck out of the steel, which is a lot of fun. You know, for a, for a pretty reasonably priced machine gun, these aren't bad. I actually start might start looking at them. All right, guys, so we had some fun today with the MK760, but I think we have a conflicting opinion. Yeah, I didn't enjoy it as much as Alex did. Yeah, um, you know, maybe my uh, my Swedish blood just kind of realizes that the, you know, the genetics of this gun are based there or something, but... Uh, that sounds like a load of crap to me. <laughs> but, hey, uh, I shot it a lot. It malfunctioned once or twice, but it is a brand new gun. Yeah. I can even see where it's kind of rubbing some finish off on the bolt, which means it's rubbing the inside of the tube. 
Um, it's kind of cool shooting an unfired machine gun. Uh, I yeah. feel bad. I wanted to make sure that the owner of this gun was cool with that, and he actually said, please shoot it so you can let me know if there's something wrong with it. Um, I'd have know? to say it ran really well. It, it really did. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I didn't, just didn't shoot it as well as I shoot some other machine guns, like the MPL or MP5 or some of the other ones out there. And, and this is more crude than those. Remember, this is the MK760 is a tube gun. It was designed to get in before the 86 cutoff, and they were built hastily. Um, however, for you know four or five grand, which is uh, pretty low for a machine gun in the United States, I was reasonably happy with it, and I'm sure that you could rectify any issues by breaking it in or sending it off to someone like M60 Joe or Ohio Ordnance or somebody to get it really looked at. But to be honest, I would just shoot it until it broke apart, man. It's it's going to last the owner a very long time and God, it's give a happy from, home. It's made from lava. <laughs> so yeah, it's hot here in Texas, if you can't tell. I promise I'm not oiling up for the camera. Um, but I think for the money, I'd rather have a, uh, I'd rather have a Mac 10, honestly. Mac 10s have gone up to about 6,000 nowadays. I'd rather spend the extra grand. I'd rather spend the extra grand too. But uh, honestly, if I bought one of these and I slicked it up and did a few things, you can make it into a really cool gun. And they do have some aftermarket as well to make them more shootable. You've got the operator yeah. gloves. That sh that's awful. But uh, all in all, Ow. you know, I think we both agree, not a bad gun. No, uh, no, not at all. we just maybe been spoiled by some other better guns. Well, I mean, yes. Yeah. And that's an absolute. Uh, but I wouldn't hesitate to buy one for the right price. Uh, I don't think it would be my first choice. I wouldn't search one out, but if somebody said, hey, I've got this MK760 I'd like to sell, and I want, you know, a good deal on it, then sure. Yeah, I think so. I wouldn't feel bad about it. Anyways, um, I think that's it for today on TFB TV, guys. As you saw, we shot the heck out of our grizzly targets. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Ventura Munitions uh, provided plenty of food for the gun. Yeah. Without them uh, shooting machine guns all day, wouldn't be plausible. It, um, well, you know, I kind of it'd, it'd be a much quieter video. <laughs> yes, it would. But um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, go ahead and hit, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you don't mind. Yeah, we'd appreciate that. Yeah. Well, uh, watch us next time. We'll be back with something else cool. I assure you.